In this part of the configuration, I'm going to concentrate on building one. What I'm going to do is to configure switch two, and I'm going to add some VLANs to that. VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And also, there is going to be a management VLAN, VLAN 999. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that this management VLAN is going to be available throughout my network so that I can reach to this management network using the jump box that I have up here. What I need to do here is to, first of all, configure this interface, which is connected to switch one, as VLAN 999. And in mode access, I have done it already. What I'm going to do is to con configure switch two. And on switch two, I'm going to say this interface, Ethernet 2, which is connected to this PC, is under VLAN 20. For the rest of the switches, anything which is connected to uh, a green port is going to be as VLAN 20. And anything connected to a red port is going to be configured as VLAN 30. So these ports, as a matter of fact, all of these ports are going to be configured as access ports. And they're going to be part of a bridge group. Let's say that I'm going to configure bridge group number one. These ports between access layer switches and aggregation layer switches, or you can call it distribution layer switches, they are going to be configured as trunk interfaces. You can see that I have no Ethernet zeros here. Ethernet zero is registered for management network, but for now, I'm using just some SVIs or switched VLAN interfaces for my management. So these interfaces are going to be trunk interfaces. The interfaces between switch 5 and switch 6 are going to be trunk as well, and later we are going to aggregate these two ports into one port channel. The interfaces connecting aggregation switches or distribution switches to core switches are going to be configured as layer 3 interfaces. So my point in this video is to configure switch port interfaces or layer 2 interfaces convert them to trunk or access ports and then making make sure that uh, these interfaces are going to transfer transport uh, different VLANs so let's just start on switch 2 because I have already configured switch 1 so on switch 2 which is this one I'm going to go to enable mode and forgive me if this is so tiny later when I configure the uh, SVIs, I'm going to make sure that I can connect using a terminal. You can connect to a terminal to it using a terminal of your choice. Mine is secure CRT and that will be much easier to manage everything in my network. So I just type EN, which is enable and then configure terminal. This takes me to configuration mode. And then what I need to do first of all is to create a bridge group. To create a bridge group, what I need to do is to say bridge for example, number one, whatever number that you are adding, protocol is going to be IRTEE. Of course, we have different types of protocols here, but IEEE is going to be the protocol. And then after that, I'm going to say this is a VLAN bridge. So I hit enter. This is the first line. Now I'm going to create VLANs. You can type VLAN database or if you do not type it, that's okay because this is going to be created by default for you. But anyway, it takes you under configuration of VLANs. Then you can type VLAN 10, for example, and the bridge is going to be number one. This is what we have created up here. And then I'm going to say this VLAN is going to be active. So I type state is enable and hit enter. Now the same command is going to be used for VLAN 20. 30 and of course this was 23 I should say 30 it doesn't matter I'm going to say 30 then 40 50 and of course 999 which is going to be my management VLAN Okay, so far I'm going to commit the configuration because I'm going to configure the interfaces as switch port. If I don't commit this, interfaces are not going to receive their configuration. 
Okay, Switch 2 is connected to a PC using Ethernet 2. So I'm going to configure interface Ethernet 2. So I type interface ETH2. The first thing that I want to do is to say switch port. And then I'm going to say this is part of bridge 1. So I say bridge group is going to be number 1. Hit enter. Now, this interface should be an access interface. So I would say switch port is mode access. So switch port mode access. And then what VLAN does this port belong to? Like I said, greens are going to be VLAN 20. So I'm going to be, uh, I, I'm going to type switch port access. VLAN is going to be 20. Okay, let's commit the configuration. If there is no problem, configuration is going to be committed for us. And as you can see, there are some syslog messages that say that interface Ethernet 2 change the state to up. Okay, now that I have done this, next step is configuring Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 1. These are going to be trunk interfaces, and they should... Um, send and receive traffic for all VLANs. So let's do this. I'm going to say interface ETH1. The first thing is going to be switch port, and then bridge group is going to be 1. Switch port mode is going to be trunk, and hit enter. Now the next command is optional for now, but I'm going to go with that. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN is going to be all. This means that I'm not uh, pruning any VLAN on this trunk link. So I'm going to say commit, and you can see that there is no problem with the configuration. The same configuration is going to go for Ethernet as, uh, 3. So I'm going to say interface ETH 3, and I would say switch port. Bridge group is going to be 1. Switch port mode is trunk. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN is going to be all. Hit enter and I'm going to say commit. Last step, I'm going to configure a switch virtual interface, an SVI, or as Cisco says, VLAN interface. So you don't have to create it because this is by default there. Let's see that. If I say do show IP interface brief, you can see that I have these VLAN interfaces. VLAN under bridge group 1, I have VLAN 1 under bridge group 1, I have VLAN 10, 20, 23, which is by mistake there, but that's okay, 30, 40, 50, and 999. For VLAN 999, I'm going to configure an IP address. So I would say interface VLAN 1.999, point of course, interface VLAN or if I just exit and then say interface VLAN 1.999 I should not just have any a space between VLAN and 1 hit enter then I'm going to say IP address is going to be 192.168.102 so that is uh, 202 of course that is the IP address, slash 24. Hit enter, and it says that slash 24. Hit enter, then I'm going to say commit. Okay, now that I have done this, let's see some verification commands. Do show interface trunk. That's going to say, so can't find interface trunk. So let's see that, I'm going to exit. I'm going to say show interfaces. And after that, I'm going to say switch port. And also in brief. And how I'm going to say hit enter brief. And you can see that I have these interfaces, Ethernet 3, Ethernet 1, these are trunk. And Ethernet 2, of course, is access. This means that this should be part of a VLAN. And the VLAN, of course, is 20. Okay, so that's cool. Next thing that I need to do, I'm going to open Switch 5 and configure the interfaces here. So let's do that. Open Switch 5 and bring it here. Hit enter. Login as Agnes. Agnes. 
and then enable configure terminal and do the same things that we did before unfortunately we cannot paste into this vnc uh, but what i'm going to do is to make sure that i connect to this using a terminal and then i can do anything that i really want to inside the terminal but that's okay so i'm going to say bridge one protocol i triple e that's a vlan bridge okay now go to vlan database under that i'm going to say vlan 10 bridge is one and state is enable the same for 20 30 40 50 and 999 so the first commit goes here now what interfaces do we have here ethernet 8 and 1 are going to be configured as trunk so i would say interface e1 switch port bridge group is going to be 1 and i'm going to say switch ports mode is trunk and here of course there's a typo and switch port trunk allowed vlan is going to be all for now so i'm going to commit to make sure that this interface has no problem interface e8 again the same thing switch port bridge group one switch port mode trunk switch port trunk mode uh, switch port trunk allowed vlan of course is going to be all okay so i'm going to commit the configuration now if i want to create a vlan interface what i need to do is to say interface vlan 1.999 ip address is going to be 192 168 this is switch 5 so slash 24 and hit enter and commit okay so we have created this if i say end and let's say save the configuration and i forgot to save the configuration on the other one so i'm going to say wr in here so going back to here if i say show interface switch port brief head enter it says that these are trunk and they are on and active so this means that if I try to ping switch one's interface, management interface, I should be able to do that. So I would say ping 192.168.100.201. And the ping is successful. Which means that if I want to connect to my management network, I should be able to. So if I just say ping... 192.168.102 you see that this is successful as well okay so this is an aggregation layer switch what about the switches in access layer you can see that access layer switches are not connected directly to each other which means that if i want to get to my management network from switch 2 what i need to do is to first go to switch 5 then from switch 5 to switch 1 and from there to the management network so let's try this if I just go to switch to and say ping 192.168.100.201, this is switch 1, this is accessible. And if I say ping 192.168.100.2, this is the management network and this is accessible as well. Okay, on switch 1, I have a default route. I'm going to open switch 1 and I'm going to bring the console here. Agnes, Agnes, and I'm going to go to enable mode. Uh, first of all, let me save if there is any unsaved configuration. I'm going to say show run, hit enter, and part of the configuration, I'm going to show you that first of all, SSH is enabled. This is very important for us because we want to connect using SSH. Here it says that feature SSH. 
And if I just go down, you can see that there is a default route somewhere around here that says IP route 0000 slash 0 goes to 192.168.102, which means that from this switch one I can get to the internet. So if I just say ping 8888, and of course ping 8888, you can see that it is accessible. Is this accessible for other routers as well? So if I just go other switches, of course, if I go to switch 2 and say ping 888, for this, of course, I need to say ping 8888 and hit enter. This tries to get to part of the network because it doesn't have any routes to there. It is not possible for that to get to that part of the internet. So let's write a routing, uh, a static route. Of course, we can just create some routing protocol. Either I'm going to do that, but for now, a static route is going to do. So I'm going to say IP route is going to be 0000 slash 0, or you can say 0000 000, and then you say 192.168.102. This is my gateway, of course, and you can see that I have configured all my management interfaces under this gateway. But you can go with any IP address that you have for your gateway. Hit enter. And I'm going to say do WR and of course commit. And if I say ping 8888, now I should be able to reach to that part of the internet. The same thing should go on switch 5. Although I don't need it, but I just want to configure a default route. So I'm going to say configure terminal IP route is going to be 0000 slash 0 goes to my default gateway. And then I'm going to say commit and of course I'm going to save the configuration. If I just say do ping 8888 this is successful. Okay, so we have created this. We no longer need VNC to connect to these devices. Now, what I'm going to do is to open Secure CRT, which is here for me. And using Secure CRT, I'm going to connect to these uh, networks, uh, to these VLAN interfaces. So I would say, for example, I have 192.168.102. One hundred two oh one is going to be for switch one. Username is Agnes. And later I'm going to have a password. So I'm going to say connect. It asks for the password, Agnes. And I'm going to save the password. Click on this. You can see that I have connected to switch one, which I have not changed the host name for that. Let's do that. If I try to go to configuration mode, if using this VNC, I have been in configuration mode, then this is going to give me an error that says you another session is connected to uh, configuration mode. So you need to, uh, first of all, exit the configuration mode on VNC and then connect using this. Let's just go to here and I can just change the name. You can see that this is the second, of course, feature, second one. I'm going to just rename it to SW01 and hit enter. Of course, I'm going to create a folder for that. So let's create a folder. And what was this one? I'm going to open this and I'm going to create a folder here. A new folder. And then I'm going to call it Agnes L2 lab. I'm going to put this under that. Okay, so let's connect to another one. So I'm going to say connect, quick connect. That's going to be 202. And the same thing, you can see that the port is number 22, which means that SSH is going to be used. Connect to that, accept it, and say Agnes for the password. And OK, and of course this is there. So if I just go to there, I'm going to rename it to 
switch 02 okay and also I'm going to connect to not this one why did I do this I'm going to close this extra sessions and I'm going to create quick connect another one of course which is 205 and here username is Agnes and I'm trying to connect and accept it and say Agnes and save password and also I'm going to rename the session to switch 5 very good uh, something like I said I'm going to try to go to enable mode and then to configuration mode here it says that it is locked by another client so I need to open this switch 5 in my VNC as you can see I am already in configuration mode here it says that another user attempted to acquire lock that's okay I'm going to say end and also exit of course and that's it I'm going to close that going back to here if I now say configure terminal you can see that there is no problem connecting to that so now we have the ability to use a console and I'm connecting using my management network the rest of the devices switch 3 4 and 6 are going to be configured the same as these and also the interfaces connecting to these PCs should be configured as uh, access uh, VLANs and later I'm going to show you the connection between these PCs